Hey, welcome back. Or oh, if this is your first time away, you might have been thinking of starting your own YouTube channel, but you don't have a big house or you don't have a nice house. That's a subjective statement. Or you don't have money to buy the nice props that would help you design your studio, at least to a level that you would be happy with. That's a reality for a lot of people. Maybe you don't have enough rooms in your house to dedicate one just for recording YouTube. And even if you wanted to use, let's say the lounge or kitchen, you'd have to continuously set up every time, which can really become annoying. In this video, I wanna show you how you can turn a video like this to something like this. And we'll be using an AI tool, which is called Generative Fill in Photoshop, which is not a video editing software, at least not primarily. We're gonna start off in Premiere Pro and then we're gonna go do our thing in Photoshop and then we'll come back in Premiere Pro. Without wasting time, let's get into it and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so this is a video that I shot um, just randomly in the house. Just found myself a corner. It's not that great. Um, so we're gonna see if we can try to make it a little bit better. What I'm going to do is export a frame, which is pretty much like taking a screenshot. Shortcut Command Shift E or Control Shift E, and then you can save that. Now we're gonna move to Photoshop. Okay, now I've opened the frame that I exported in Premiere Pro, and I'm using Adobe Photoshop 2024. So just make sure you have the latest version um, if you want to have access to the generative fill tool. So before we begin, this really works well with videos where it's a static shot. By static, I mean where the subject is not moving. And uh, in this video, it's just a talking head. So I am pretty much in the same position and the camera is not moving in itself. It's on a tripod. So that's where this really works. But in this video, I just want to show you just the capabilities to begin what you want to do is to build section by section. Generative fill works well if you are prompting it in smaller sections, sort of like building blocks. It doesn't really work well if you select an entire image and want to give one long prompt. It's not that great when you do it that way. To begin, I am gonna start with this uh, section. Let's put blurred put land in foreground. It doesn't take that long, but it also depends on your on the speed of your internet. Okay, so these are the options that it, so it usually gives you three options and then you can regenerate if you want to, but I actually kind of like this, so I'll keep it for now. And then in this section, I just want to put another port land. Okay, so these are options. I mean, not so bad. I kind of like this. And next, I would like to add a floating shelf here. Shelf with desk lamp let's see what it comes up with okay this is uh, okay that is not great that is not great okay i like the first option this is not entirely bad um so i'm gonna keep that and then here i'd like to add a artistic wall frame Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, these are kind of boring. Let's maybe generate that again. Hmm, I'm really getting what I like. So maybe let's give another prompt. Let's say two floating shelves with camera gear. Let's see what it will come up with. Okay, that's not too bad. I actually don't hate it. I don't entirely hate it. I'm gonna group these and show you the difference that 
all of this is making let me see if i can try have another go at a frame I actually don't hate this um, this is quite nice so I am going to just sometimes you will have to straighten things out because it's not always straight this is what it looked like and this is what we have so now to go back to Premiere Pro I'll just hide the layer that's at the bottom save this as a uh, PNG pretty much with transparency and save it with the highest quality possible okay now we're back in Premiere Pro I'm just gonna add that uh, PNG we saved and then I'm gonna drop it on top of our clip so as you can see now we pretty much have a nice background you need to make sure that you shot in consistent lighting because you see something here like if you watch closely here i don't know if youtube compression will allow you to see it but there's just a little bit of a line that you can see here but that's something you can also fix in photoshop so if you go and further out these areas i'm actually just gonna do that quickly there are different ways of doing it but i will use this method so i'll just further this out just a little bit just so that um, when there's a bit of light change you don't see the edges on this side and then i can save my image again it automatically replaces in Premiere Pro. It's not so bad, but ideally you want to make sure that you're in consistent lighting so that you don't face such issues. But from here, you can pretty much uh, grade your image. So I'm just going to, for the purposes of this video, this is not usually how I do it, but I'm just going to add an adjustment layer, put it on top, do a simple color grade or correction or whatever you want to call it okay and there we have it so it's not the best grading or or the best video or frame or anything but remember we came from this and now we have this so it's a really cool way of just um kind of stepping up your i suppose game in a very simple way especially if you already own these two adobe applications and remember again as with any ai tool the better your prompt the better the results so i hope this video is helpful in showing you how you can actually come up with some really good results you can turn your not so good looking shot into something that's a little bit more interesting and i mean the downside to this is if you're going to be changing your frame or if you're going to be recording videos in different places all the time then you have to repeat this process and you're most likely not going to get the same result all the time so there wouldn't be consistency if you're looking for consistency i hope this video was helpful if it was please leave a comment and a like do subscribe if you haven't already my name is z and peace